Hey guys and gals, welcome to my channel and welcome to Roblox Studios. Yes, I'm in studios. I'm actually doing stuff in studios. Unbelievable. And why am I in studios, you're going to ask. And the simple answer is, I wanted to make it, I want to try making a game. And... You're going to say, well, what makes you think you can make a game? I don't know. I'll give you a couple answers. I do know some programming. I don't know Lua. I know Visual Basic. I know old Basic from before Windows, the DOS Basic, um, also known as um, QBasic or GW Basic. I've learned those. And I took Visual Basic in school, so I do know the program. I do know the logic behind programming. Um, I have some experience with it. So I figured let me try and take that logical mindset and see if I can apply it to Roblox Studios and Lua and see if I can learn the Lua programming language. And that's ultimately what my purpose here is to do is I want to learn Lua. Um, something some of the easiest things that you can think of doing, I have no clue how to do in Lua. Anything I did, even making this, which is just four, well, four parts in a script. And the, just creating the part and changing it into a brick texture. Whoops. That just gave you a sneak peek on what it does. Sorry. Uh, just, just, just making the brick texture in itself was difficult enough for me. I mean, it took me a few seconds to figure out, but things like that for some of these people that do this programming, this is like second age of boom, I did it, done. Um, making this middle blue piece, a glass texture and, and somewhat transparent. Yeah, you know, it took me some time to build. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't three minutes like you think it should be, and I hit the, hit the glass again. But it did take me, you know, ten minutes to put it down and get everything lined up so it looks nice. And then if you look over to the right side here, and I'm not going to let you look at my head. We'll look at, look, how's that? That's, that's good. If you look over on the right side here. This is the teleporter. This is the teleporter model. This is the left side, right side, top, and the teleporter one is the actual glass in the middle. This was added by Studios on its own. And then this is the script that tells it's a teleporter. And if we go over and look at the script itself. Okay, you're going to do that to me, huh? If we look at the script itself, it's pretty simple. Um, this is basically telling it uh, the hit function. If the player hits parent, which is the parent of the script. Local player equal hit parent. So if this happens, if it's a player, then the local torso equals player dot humanoid root plot. Basically, what that's saying is, if a torso of something hits that glass or makes physical contact with the glass, and it's a torso, it has to have a parent of player humanoid root plot. That's just the way I understand it. Whether that's actually correct. I don't know. Basically, the purpose of that is to test it to see if it's actually a player versus a non-player or another movable object that may run into the glass. Um, so, if the torso makes the hit, then the torso position changes to 
this is new vector, which is the, this is the coordinates of the vector. And in my particular case, the coordinates of the vector are right over here in front of this yellow thing, which I'll get to in a minute. And then you're going to say, well, all right, that's pretty simple. Why do we do that? Simply put is I started working over in this area. And every time I started coming into my game, I would come in about where I'm standing now. And eventually I got lazy and didn't want to keep running over there. So I figured if I just go like this, bloop, now I'm over here. Save me from walking over. And it also gave me the ability to make a teleporter, just like I showed you. This, now you're going to look at this and go, oh, okay, that's an egg. That's an egg. Uh, okay, I'm going to call it a dispenser. Basically what it is is you buy an egg. In this case, it's going to be for 100 coins. You'll buy an egg. It will dispense an egg that will hatch into a pet. Um, in this case, this is going to hold four pets, but you can make them hold as many as you want, as long as you, as long as you want to keep programming it. But, but that's what this is going to be. There's no programming behind this yet. This is just a physical structure, a um, couple of parts, about four or five or six parts. The glass and the egg are a couple of meshes. One's inside the other. And that was it. I will do the programming on that at some point because there's a lot of work to do. A, you got to get the dispenser working. B, once the pet is presented to you, it needs to be able to put, a, put into a pet inventory. And then you'll be able to have to open your pet inventory and view your pets and enable them or disable them, delete them, whatever you want to do with them. That part I need to build out, and that's going to be a lot of work. But that's... That's that. So anyway, I built this pet dispenser. And then I said, well, now I need pets. So I went over here. Started building some pets. I made a larger bee, which eventually I inadvertently deleted the face and never bothered to put it back. And then I took that bee and made it a little bit smaller, which I was happy with because it's a much, much more manageable size for a pet, I think. If you look at me versus that, it's it's reasonable. I gotta have to, I might shrink. And then I made a kitty cat. And if you notice with the the B, the edges are all rounded. Um, although from what I've seen and heard, that can be done in Roblox. And then there are plugins that can do it for you. I was never able to get a plugin to work right to do that. So I'm going to give kudos to Crow Pine Man on this one. I found a video on his uh, on his channel that talk, talked about using Blender to do this, rounding the edges. So I downloaded and installed Blender, and after a little while, I figured out how to do this and, and, and make, make round the edges. And then I would took five five parts, stick them together, alternate the color between yellow and black. And then I used Blender to create cylinders, which are the wings. And then, of course, I squished them down pretty much flat and then stretched them out to make them oval looking. And then I imported them into, out of Blender. I exported them out of Blender and then imported them into Roblox. And then, voila, I put these in here. Gave the wings a 20 degree angle, and if you look through them, and let me see if I can do this. Come on. If you look through the wings, you can see through the wings a little bit. I made them slightly transparent, which to me makes them a little bit more real, because if you haven't seen a bee's wings, they are somewhat transparent if you look through this way you can see the clouds in the sky through the wing and then i said all right now i got myself a bee this one was too big so we shrunk them down made another one may want to keep the big bee right now i don't know so for the time being i'm keeping it here i didn't delete it but for now it's going to stay here then i created the cat 
And as you can see from the front, very bland, very square, very non-professional looking is what I would guess I would say. But it's going to be a basic pet and it's going to be a starter pet and that's what I'm going to go with. A uh, couple of wedges to make ears, a couple of cylinders to make, well, four cylinders, not a couple to make his feet. And if you notice, the back end of him is rounded off a little bit. And I did that also in Blender and then imported this part in from Blender. But I think I'm going to make him a little smaller now that I'm looking at him because he's kind of big. The B, I think, is good. But I'm going to have to shrink him down a little bit, I think. Gave him green eyes. If you, a lot of you out there know cats have green eyes. Or at least a lot of them do. Also, I created a quick money system and leaderboard. This is, uh, if you guys are familiar with um, Lua at all, this is the server-side script about leader stats. And it creates, it shows up your name and it shows up what kind of money you have. The coin title, I created the amount of starting money, $10,000, I created. So we got a couple of the basic things going on here. We got a teleporter programmed. We got a couple of... Um, couple of models here for pets we got the money leaderboard the money board the um, the player board programmed so we're making progress the next big thing and this is gonna be a really big thing is programming this thing to dispense eggs hatch the eggs have the eggs go into your inventory and then from there you get to manipulate your egg your your hatched pets, which I'm going to tell you right now, one of them is going to be a bee, one of them is going to be this cat. I'm going to make a dog, which is going to be similar looking to the cat, I believe, except probably gray, and obviously a face that you would say is a dog face, because dogs don't have whiskers, well, not like this anyway, not like you would think for a cat. And we'll give a dog, and I'm going to make a fourth pet, and I'm not going to tell you what that one is, that one's going to be a surprise. I got a good idea on what, the, what it's going to be. I just got to figure out how to build it. And then we're going to have the dispenser dispense them. And like I said, I got to build all of it out. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to work on over the next week. Uh, I am still going to be playing. I am still going to be trying to find some videos to make for you guys. But I didn't have a lot because I've been doing this lately. So I figured let me give you guys a video. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Uh, do me a favor. Comment on this. Do you want to see more? you want to watch me work on this as well as making video game videos about games as well? Um, but let me know if you want me to keep doing this. Otherwise, I'm just going to chug away on this and be silent about it. Maybe a couple of revel revelations here and there I will uh, post. But, yeah, let's get back up here. There we go. Back on the B. I guess I'm a B jockey. Okay, guys. I re really appreciate you guys watching me. Uh, if you made it this far through the video, that means you at least have some interest in this Lua stuff that I'm doing. Which is great, because if you can learn how to do this stuff, then you get good at it. Maybe at some point you might be able to make money doing it. That's really not my goal. I'd love to make money, don't get me wrong. But my goal here right now is to learn Lua. And that's what I'm trying to do. And my way of learning Lua is to take what other people did. Write it out, not just type it and say, all right, it's done, but to understand what each and every line does in the pro in the script. So like this way, I like I said, I was able to describe the script to you because I've learned what each and every line does, more or less. I may be wrong on a couple of things or, or a little vague, or but I'm learning, I'm still learning. Before a week ago, I barely had a clue what Lua was other than a programming language. Maybe I'm a half a step, half a step closer to learning it now. So it's it's going to be a long process. 
if I can get this working and I can create a little game, that would be really awesome. And that's ultimately what my goal is. Give you guys a game. If you want to play it, anybody out there that wants to play it, that would be great. But I want to give you a quality game too. I would love it to become the next Bubblegum Sim or the next Saber Sim. But I'm realistic. I would just like it if, you know, a couple of hundred people played it at some point. A couple of likes, things like that. That would be awesome. But anyway, thanks for uh, watching my video. And comment anything you want to comment regarding this. It would be really awesome. And um, don't forget, like, subscribe. Like I said, comment. Set your alerts. Let me know what's going on, guys. I'll talk to you all soon, all right? Have a great, great day day out there and um, I'll talk to everybody again soon. Goodbye.